Good morning, grade three. Um, this is your teacher, Teacher Abdullah. I really miss you and I hope you are doing very well. Um, just because we are at home doesn't mean we have to stop studying. So we are going to uh, learn um, a little bit today and we are going to um, go over the worksheet that we have studied together. We are also going to um, see the correct answers and learn how to check our answers at home. Uh, so, the, the first exercise was a challenge, and we are supposed to do this challenge only after we finish uh, the, the exercise afterwards. The first exercise, we were supposed to write the plural, the plural nouns. So, we have nouns here that are singular, and the nouns are flower, tool, box, tree, flash, church, etc., so there is a simple rule to make these words uh, plural. Um, the first thing we should look at is to see if the last letter is X, Z, S, or SH. So we have to make sure that our uh, word does not end with any of these letters. Let's look at the word flower. So when you see the word flower, it ends with an R. So to make it a plural, I just have to add S and so on. Um, let's look at the second word here. Tool is also a normal word, a word that ends with a letter that is not X, Z, S, SH, or CH. So we are going to add only, say it with me, yes, it is only the letter S. But what about the word box? If we look at the word box, we are going to see some changes because uh, the word box here, as you can see, ends with an X, and this letter should uh, change the rule of adding S. Now we are only going to add ES to make it plural. So we are going to say boxes with ES at the end. Uh, do the rest of, of, of them. You can do the rest of them on the paper and then I'm going to provide you with the model answer so you can make sure that your answers are correct. Let's move now to the second uh, exercise in the worksheet. The second exercise, if you remember guys, we studied the suffixes and we said that suffixes are groups of letters that end the word and they don't change the meaning of the word, they change the way we use this word. So let's look at the word um, survival. The origin of this word, or the origin, sorry, of this word is survive with an A. We add E-L, uh, sorry, A-L at the end of the word, which makes us change the way we use the word. Our goal here is to study these words for five minutes. You can pause this video and you have to study these words, remember them, remember the letters that end these words, and then you have to go to the next page here, you have to go to the next page here, and you have to remember which letters were here. So it's like a game. I come to the words, I study them, I remember the last two letters, and then I come here to the next page, and I add the two letters. So here I have um, the, the last two letters for this words are AL, so it's legal. And the next word is going to be local. This one, can you guess? Equal. And you have to add equal. And then survive. Survival. You got it. Good. And then we have metal. And you have to finish all of them. You have to finish all of them. And after that, you are going to check your answer through the document that I'm going to give you, okay? Um, the next exercise here, we have to make these verbs. They are written in the, pr in the present tense here, and we have to make them past verbs. We have to make them past verbs. Now, if you remember, I told you that there are two types of uh, verbs when we have the past verbs. We have regular verbs. And I want you to say now, what is a regular verb? I'll be silent. What is a regular verb? That is correct. A regular verb is the verb that ends with ED. But these verbs are called irregular verbs. 
adverbs, which means that when we write them in the past, we have to write them in a different way. So we have to find the word that can work here. So what is the past of the verb eat? The past of the verb eat is eight. So we are going to add a t e. What about here? Yes, you got it right. It is heard. And the next one is throw. Throw. What is the past of throw? Okay, let's think about it. Uh, throw it's through yes with an e instead of a w. The next one, the students write. Write. So we have to choose the past verb of write, which is yes, that is correct. It is wrote. Uh, number five. Number five. Now, uh, last summer we swim. Swim is present, so we have to use the past here. What is the past? That is right. Swam with an with an a swam, and we have Johnny take guitar lesson with a great teacher or guitar lessons. Sorry. So we have to say Johnny took because we are using the past. And by what is the past of by? Yes, that's right. It is bought. C saw. Set. This is a verb that doesn't change form. So when we say present past or any other form, it is just S E T. So it's set. It remains the same. It's just the same. Rise is the present and it's an irregular verb. So the the uh, the past is rose and sing sang. The word go is present, but the past is a completely different word, and it's just a special case. It is wet. Uh, on the next page here, we have, of course, guys, don't worry if you don't catch all the, these verbs, because I'm going to give you a document with all the correct answers, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm also going to give you, if you remember the challenge here, I'm also going to give you suggested sentences that I used from these words. So let's go down a little bit here. Let's uh, scroll down to exercise number four, task four. And we have to use either subject pronouns or possessive adjectives. Now, a subject pronoun starts the sentence because we, we want something to begin the sentence, which is the subject. Possessive adjective, the adjective must describe the nouns. So here, if, uh, if I were to use it in, a, um, um, in an example, I'd say, I love my family. Now here, I use it as a subject before the verb. I started my sentence with I. This is the meaning of subject. But possessive adjective, any adjective is a word that describes a noun. So I have to say a noun after it. So you can say something like, I lost my notebook, like that. So here I'm using my to describe something, which is the notebook and so on. All the other uh, sentences can have examples like that. Here, we have to rewrite the underlying words with I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And these are the subject pronoun. If you guys remember, the subject pronoun, he, she, it, I, you, we, and they. So these are the uh, subject pronouns. Now we have the first word here, and the first word is Naomi. Now Naomi is a girl's name. So if I want to talk about a girl that is not here, we are going to use she. I'm going to say, instead of Naomi, I'm going to change it to she. So instead of saying Naomi is from South Africa, I'm going to say she is from South Africa. Naomi is from South Africa. She is from South Africa. So we are going to write it here. We are going to replace Naomi with she. Jenny 
is a girl as well, so I'm going to use the same one. I'm going to say she. Cats, it's a plural noun, right? So I have to use they. I'm going to use they. I'm going to say they are animals. The weather is something, and things we replace them with it. So I'm going to say it. Our chairs. I'm going to replace our chairs with a plural pronoun, which is they. That is correct. Watches. Isn't it the same? Yes, it's the same thing. So I'm going to say these watches. I'm going to replace it with they are expensive. The house is one thing, and I'm going to replace it with it. So I'm going to say the house is big. Here we have to complete some sentences and conversations using possessive adjectives. Uh, you are talking to Tom, so you have to use some of um, the pronouns, or sorry, the possessive adjectives that we have learned. So here, in the beginning, we have what's favorite team, Tom? So you're talking to Tom. How do you ask Tom? Do you say, Tom, what is his or Tom, what is your? So I'm going to use your. What is your favorite team, Tom? What is Tom going to answer with? How is he going to answer? He's going to say your or my. What is he going to say? He's going to say... My, that is correct. So he's going to say, my favorite team is Chelsea. Who is that? She is... You're, you're asking somebody, who is that? And the person answers with, she is my girlfriend. And now we are going to talk about the name. The name is what? She's a girl. Do you say his name or her name for the girl? Yes, that's right. We say her name is Julie. Now... That's a new sentence here. Name is Joanna. So you can say, my name is Joanna, or her name is Joanna. Both are accepted. My dad is middle-aged. Now let's talk, take a look at this. My, you can say, my dad. You can say, your dad. You can say her dad, you can say, yes, his dad, you can say their dad, or you can say our dad. All of them can work in this case. All of them are good. Now, I'm talking to a doctor now, and I'm asking him a question. I could say, are you a doctor? I'm going to ask him another question. Where is, are you a doctor? Where is, yes, your hospital? Where is your hospital? Very well done. Now let's move to the next one. Here we have to circle the correct word. We have two choices here. We have to choose from we or our. What do you say? Do you say this is we house or this is our house? Think about it. Correct. We say this is our house. Now you want to talk about the house. Do you say it? It's without apostrophe or do you say it is? Yes, again, you got the correct answer. You say, it is very small. But how do you describe your hair? Do you say, I hair or my hair? That's quite easy. That is correct. You say, my hair. But eyes, what do you say also? My eyes. And so on, you finish that. I will finish all these exercises for you. Uh, so you can make sure that you have all the right answers. Now, you have to complete the sentences with subject pronouns or possessive adjectives. So, you have to choose based on the meaning and the understanding. My mother is a teacher. Students are, are clever. Now, here, I'm talking about the students of my mom, not my students or any kind of students. So, I'm going to say her students because I'm talking about mother. My mother is a teacher. Her students are very clever. John isn't in house. So we are going to say, you can say, John isn't in his house or isn't in my house. Either is correct. 
Jenny and are from the UK. So we are talking about a couple here, married people. Jenny, Jenny, or sorry, we have to say uh, Jenny and husband. Now, the husband belongs to Jenny, so we are going to use her husband because she's a girl. Is a good tennis player. Now here, what am I missing? Is there any noun after the space? No, so I can't use an adjective. I have to use a subject. So, who is a good tennis player? You can say he or she. You can use he or she to describe a good tennis player. And when we talk about other people, now, is a tourist Alex? Alex is a boy's name and a girl's name, so we can say she, he is a tourist or she is a tourist and we can say her name or his name is Alex. Now in exercise E we have, this is the last exercise that we have for today, we are going to replace, we are going to replace uh, um, the, these nouns, these possessive nouns, with possessive adjectives. So we have Tom's, Mary's, my dog's, Kate's, and Liz and John's. Liz and John's. Okay, now, Tom's pr brother is a lawyer. How can you re replace Tom? He's a boy, so we are going to say his brother is a lawyer. Mary is a girl, so we are going to say her husband is a mechanic. And I am going also to complete the rest of these exercises with you. Now, um, I would like you to uh, download the file that I am going to attach. And this file is going to show you the correct answers to all of these exercises that I will finish for you. Thank you very much and I will come back to you very very soon to discuss more answers. Thank you. Bye-bye.